Well, everybody, we're back again. It's week three, and there's three of us this week. Uh, Frank, who had a great week last week, uh, work complications, but we pushed through. We got Earl. We got Cut. How are we doing, fellas? Fantastic. Yeah, uh, so far, the NFL season has been pretty wild. Um, first first two weeks of the year, a lot of uh, the Giants are 2-0. and It's uh, never what you think it's going to be. Yeah. Um, a lot of underthrown balls to Devontae Adams makes me a happier Packer at the end of the day. <laughs> um, but when you're going from one Hall of Fame quarterback to the other, you know. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's real tough. Um, but man, the Lions showing all that tenacity against Wa oh. against Washington. That was that was probably one of the best games I've ever seen the Lions play as an we actual. We lose those games. You we lose, lose those, those games. Yes. Game. Yes. Uh huge shout out to St. Brown and huge shout out to DeAndre Swift because they're dogs right now for your squad. Yeah. And, and Hutchinson on the defense. They're dogs. And, and, and Hutchinson on the defensive side. Just, we me and Cut were talking about it on the pod last night. Dan Campbell's the guy that you want to play for. Yeah. Dude, you don't want to play the Lions right now. No. Like, no. Like, you might beat them, but you're going to wake up Monday morning knowing you got knocked around. Yeah. And they've scored the second most points in the NFL. Let's um, go. Behind the Bills. The Bills have 72 points on the season. The Lions have I tell 71. You what, man, in the way the Eagles throttled Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. Didn't see that coming. No. Dude, put their foot on the throat. Yeah. Yeah. So, early, you, uh, are you drinking the Kool Aid yet? Uh, I'm taking another sip this week. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I, let's, uh, Kool-Aid cup every week. That's right. Just, just a little sip here. There will do you. All right. All right. All right. We're going to share this screen. Uh, sick. Okay. So, um, we see the screen here, everybody. Um, let me get rid of this nonsense because, uh, I'm not sponsored. Um, so anywho, week two uh, on the board, Frank and I tied with 10 and six records. Uh, Earl finished last with eight and eight and cut finished and tied for second at nine and seven. Um, the little asterisks, as you see, Earl won the tiebreaker last week. So he got the asterisk closest to the board for the Monday night game. I had the lowest amount of points. We all picked the Vikings. They all lost, uh, but the closest to the points wins. Uh, so overall, Frank the Tank, who's not here, which is my favorite part, uh, because he's winning and he can't, he just, he can't celebrate it. I would love to have, I would love to have Frank here, but he's, he's in the lead right now. Next time, uh, next time he comes from on the show, he's to not first. first. Uh, I'm, I'm trailing by one game, 16 and 15. Uh, Earl is in third place at 15 and 16 and Cut is in fourth at 14 and 17. So beginning Come of the last. year, these games matter towards the end of the year. Oh, 100%. Uh, so, I mean, it's just been such a wild season, though. I mean, if you ask me to make those either. picks you're again. Over 500, it's a W for the week. Yeah. 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 Um, so, Frank's not here. We have his picks. We'll show them. Uh, we'll show them. We'll just show them after I make my picks. Um, so, Steelers, Browns. Uh, I'm going Steelers. Uh, they had a tough game last week. Uh, both teams about the same for that uh, against the Patriots last week. Both kind of the same caliber teams. Uh, but I think over the Browns, the Steelers get it done. Uh, Panthers, Saints. I think the Panthers get their first dub of the season. I think they've been close. The Saints aren't that good, and they're already doubting their quarterback. A lot of fan turmoil right there. So I think the Panthers get it done. Texans, Bears. Uh, the Bears need a revenge game really bad. Uh, so they're going to win that game. Uh, Chiefs and Colts. I got to go Chiefs all the way. I don't know why you would go the Colts here. Uh, Bills and Dolphins. Dolphins had one of the most impressive comeback wins I've seen in a long time. I just think the Bills have the – the Bills are the team to beat right now. So until someone tells me different, I'm Bills Nation right now for the picks. Vikings, Lions. I was on the Kool-Aid for the first two weeks. The Lions have been playing super-duper excellent. But I think the Vikings win a traditional NFC North game right here. Uh, Patriots, Ravens. I'm going Ravens. Um, sorry, cut. Bengals, Jets. Uh, the Bengals, 0-2. People keep saying Super Bowl hangover. I just say that Joe Burrow doesn't have an offensive line, but you're playing the Jets, <laughs> so you should win. Uh, and all that money. Yeah, Raiders, Titans. Uh, I'm going to go Titans here. Um, that's going to be a tough game. Eagles, Commanders. I'm going to go Eagles. They've, they've been Darius big play slay. Two interceptions last week. 
their defense coming out strong. Um, I think that I, I think that uh, you know Carson is setting records. He's the first quarterback with a new team to have two games with 300 passing yards. Blah blah blah. Still got your ass kicked against the Lions. So let's move on and get your ass kicked by the Eagles next week. Uh, Saints and Panthers. Uh, I think you already did that one. Oh yeah, I did do that one. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, so here, here's what we'll do. Delete. Shift cells up. Okay. Uh, Jaguars Chargers. Uh, so we're definitely going uh, the Chargers here. I, you know, congrats to Trevor last week, but I think the Chargers uh, are a really good team that just they've been playing tough opponents. Rams Cardinals. This one's tough. Uh, I'm gonna go Rams. I'm gonna go Rams here. Uh, Falcon Seahawks. Another garbage time game. I'm gonna go the Falcons here though. Uh, Packers Bucks. Look, I'm pa- I'm I'm picking with. I can't just pick against the Packers, okay? Unless it's you know t- more towards the end of the season where I need the wins. I I can't just knowing I picked against the Packers. I just can't do it right now. Uh, 49ers Denver. Uh, 49ers all the way. Uh, I think Jimmy Garoppolo has something. It's got that like uh, I call it the uh, the let's make a movie of this season thing going on for him right now. You know, so if they end up doing really well, it's going to be like the underdog, but with Jimmy Garoppolo and some yeah, of the, yeah. who Shazam. You know, Definitely it's one of the looks for it. Yeah, yeah. And Cowboys Giants Monday Night Football. Uh, Giants two and zero. Giants move to three and zero. Wow. Uh, end of that Four. game, twenty four <laughs> seventeen. Um, so if we look at Frank's picks, just read the winners, JT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's got Steelers, Saints, Bears, Chiefs, Dolphins, Lions, Ravens, Bengals, Raiders, Commanders, Jaguars, Rams, Seahawks, Bucks, 49ers, and the Cowboys. He's got no score for the final game, but we will add that in if I get the text from the show. Oh, he, he uh, picked he the Cowboys there. to win. Yeah, he he put a score on there though. He did. Uh, let me upload that right now. Um, uh, he put twenty one fourteen. Twenty one to fourteen. Twenty one to fourteen. Good score. Oh, Fifty one fourteen. <laughs> Christ, dude. Cowboys are gonna slaughter him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Earl, uh, let's see. Uh, Earl, you'd, you'd be up next, so yep. here we go. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Um, I'm taking the Steelers over the Browns. Browns have not looked very good. I have zero faith in Jacoby Brissett. Um, I'm taking the Bears over Houston. Houston is a dumpster fire, um, and I really like um, Chicago to come out of there with a win. Uh, Chiefs over Colts. Colts are going 0-3 to start. Was Matt Ryan the right hire? I don't know. 40-some million dollars, I think. Um, for, a, for a guy that's been in the league for a while. Yeah, and as a, a veteran quarterback who seems to look somewhat like a rookie, like he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Weird. He's got to step it up. Minimum for quarterbacks. Got to step it up. Um, I got Miami beating the Bills. It's at home for Miami. They played a, a hell of a game against the Ravens. I think they've just scratched the surface of their potential. Um, and that offense is going to be tough to stop. Um, I'm taking the Lions over the Vikings, baby. Uh, taking a sip of the Kool-Aid. Um, I think the Vikings are going to come out fired up because of the ass whooping they just took. But I'm telling you, this Lions team has some fight to them. They are going to hang in there. They're going to hang around. They're going to make it a long day for Kirk Cousins. Um, and Jared Goff gets it done late. Um, sorry if you guys can hear my son. Oh, that's all right. Vinny's making his first appearance in the picks. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm taking the Ravens over the Patriots, too. Um, I know the Patriots won a gutsy one last week against the Steelers. Um, I just I, I can't see Lamar losing two in a row, especially to uh, the Patriots, where they're at right now. All Matt right. Patricia calling plays. Oh, no, That's a problem. One. Come on now. <laughs> um, I'm taking the Bengals over the Jets. The Bengals need this game. They need to win. Poor Joe Burrow. I mean, same shit. And I feel like they kind of came into this season thinking what worked last year was going to work this year. That's not how the NFL works. They, they'll they find a formula that works. It's just not the one they're using right now. I've got uh, the Titans over the Raiders. I've been wrong on the Raiders both weeks. So um, I'm only taking the Titans because they're at home and they just got their asses kicked. 
Uh, I'm taking the Eagles over the Commanders. Uh, the Eagles look great, and that's uh, that's enough for me. I am taking the Panthers over the Saints because it is at home. I'm a kind of a closet Panthers fan, um, and I, I feel like they need this win as well, and they're going to play like it on Sunday. Chargers over Jacksonville. Chargers are a good team. Jacksonville's mediocre. I'm taking the Cardinals over the Rams. I'm taking the Falcons over the Seahawks. Taking the Bucks over the Packers. And I'm taking Russell Wilson and the Broncos to beat the 49ers at mile high. That's right. And I'm taking <laughs> the Giants over the Cowboys, 27-24. Giants start 3-0. and Look out. Interesting division that the that as of, as we as we make the picks, the Eagles and the Giants are both front runners for their division. Very interesting. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know it's the I know it's the third week, but usually all those teams are tied for last. But the Giants two and zero. I did not see that coming this year, dude. Saquon Queso. Dude. All right, cut. All right. First game of the week. Uh, I'm going to take Cleveland over the Steelers. Uh, this is always this is a good rivalry game. Uh, I think the Browns just have more people in position. Unless they start Kenny Pickett, I don't think they're going to start winning a whole bunch of games. I, real high on Mitch to start the season, but I think Kenny's the way to go now. Uh, I'm going to go Bears over Houston. I'm just going to be betting against Houston all fucking year. <laughs> um, I'm going to take uh, the Raiders over Tennessee. Yeah, you can just leave that one there. Chiefs are winning that game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go. So for this Buffalo game, I I was looking at the spread a little earlier, and it, the Dolphins are only three-point underdogs, but I think they cover and get the money line. I'm going Dolphins here. That that, that They have the fastest uh, wide receivers in the game. I just, Waddle, Hill. Tough, tough to keep up with them. Tough to keep up with them. Uh, I'll just go in order for you here since you're already there. Well, we'll go back up to the top. I'm going to take the uh, Panthers over the Saints. I like Chris McCaffrey uh, back down there. I'm taking the Vikings over the Lions. I think the Lions have a big uh, big reality check this week. Um, and this one, I'm, I'm betting with my heart on this one. I think the Patriots are going to win here. Uh, it, I don't like betting against Lamar Jackson, but I got to. Bengals over Jets. That's an easy one. Uh, what's the next one here? Eagles and Commanders. Let's, uh, I think I'm going to go with the Eagles. I think the, the Eagles are, I, I think they're going to get slapped around here in a couple weeks, but I think they win that one. Uh, Chargers over the Jaguars. I don't know why uh, Frank picked the, uh, the Jags there, but more power to them. Uh, this is a tough game. I think I'm going to go with Arizona. I think it's going to be a, a high scoring game but I think the Cardinals walk away with that one. Uh, I'm going to go Falcons over Seahawks. Seahawks are still finding their legs. Falcons, you know, they have some shit in place, but I think they're, I think they're a more well-put-together team. Um, not going to bet against Tom Brady, so Bucks over Packers. He's the better quarterback in this game anyways. Um, I'm going to go San Francisco over Denver. I know, I know they're away, but I think I'm going to take the Niners. And then the last game of the week. Oh, pop back up. Yeah, throw the throw the Bengals in there over the Jets. Come on now. Um, I'm gonna go Cowboys. I'm gonna go Cowboys over the Giants. And we'll say it's a final score of 21 10. All right, so we got a lock on the Bears game. Strange to say. Uh lock on the Bengals game. And we have differences throughout. That that that's one of our lowest that's locks. Oh, and Chiefs, Chiefs. Oh yeah. Yep. And then it looks like the rest of the week is uh, scattered. So I mean, only three locks this week. I like that. I like the more uh, the big week. Yeah, a lot, a lot of diversity out there. Yeah, I think there's a lot of parity in the league right now. I mean, Not a lot really of teams. Is. Like, I mean, other than like Buffalo. Who's really looked that dominant? Uh, the Not Dolphins. the Packers. The Dolphins, Dolphins has looked real good, but just last week, the week before they looked a little, week one, they looked a little shaky, but I think they're coming in their own. I, I mean, I, I think in the AFC, the dominant teams right now, Kansas City's playing good football already. Yeah. 
the Bills are playing explosive football with Stefan Diggs and Jaron Allen's a dog, you know. Um, <laughs> Josh Allen's a dog. Um, and then for the and then for the and then for the NFC, the Buccaneers defense has been tearing motherfuckers up, you know. And that's why I'm worried about the Packers because we have no receivers. And I mean, I, I think, think the Bucks only have one starting receiver playing. I mean, they just signed <laughs> Cole Beasley, so you know. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I stand by what I said. Uh, yeah, and then so, but for the NFC North, I mean, for the NFC overall, I mean. For a hot second, week one, I was like the Vikings, but we all had the reality check this last week from getting beat by those Eagles. So really, I think I think the Vikings are going to go on a little streak here. I think they're I think they're going to string together about five six wins, get another little slap in the dick, and then I, I think they're going to take that division. I think the NFC is way more shaky. I think the AFC powerhouses. You've seen about four teams hey. right now in the AFC that it's it's the same few teams that it's been the last three four years with Absolutely. the Dolphins now. Yeah, add, add the Dolphins to that, which just makes my division that much harder. Who do you, who do you got, Vinny? All right, thanks. I agree. <laughs> Sick, man. <laughs> Vinny, Vinny, Vinny made the game-winning pick. Here we go. Um, Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Right now in the NFC North, uh, there's a four-way tie for first place. Uh, every team is one and one. So that's pretty – Technically, it's four-way tie for last place, too. Yeah. Technically, so <laughs> who's your guys? Uh, who's your guys' worst two and O team? Worst two and O team. Who's the uh, who's all the two and O teams? That's a good <laughs> question, man. I should have looked before I asked. Uh, let me look it up for you guys. Yeah, hold um, it up, hold it up on the screen. Miami and Buffalo. Um, here, not now. CBS. Fuck. Uh, well. <laughs> Division standing. So Miami Dolphins are two and zero. The Buffalo Bills are two and zero. The Chiefs are two and zero. The Eagles are two and zero. The Giants are two and zero. The Buccaneers are two and zero. And that's your two and zero teams. Giants are by far the worst team there. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's. I mean, that's not even close. Yeah, I would. I would say definitely the the Giants are the most suspicious two and zero team. And then out of our 0-2 teams, you've got the Falcons, the Panthers, the Raiders, the Titans, the Bengals. So who do you think finally gets a win this week? I say it's probably the Bengals. I mean, yeah, the Bengals are a lock this week, I think. I don't think there's any way the Jets, unless uh, Joe Flacco comes out and has a fucking career game. But yeah, I don't even know if he's going to be the guy this week. How how long is uh, old boy out for? The mill punter? I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't I know. I love Zach Wilson, dude. <laughs> I, I love his whole story, dude. I loved uh, when people were like freaking out. They're like, oh, he's been fucking all these MILFs and his girlfriend's mom and all this shit. And then I, I saw someone someone tweeted it. They're like, oh, crazy, good looking starting quarterback fucks everything in sight. What a fu- what a fucking news headline. Yeah, yeah. Who knew that happened? <laughs> like, like weird. Like it's something that's been the same thing since the beginning of time. It's good like- looking starting quarterback fucks everything in sight crazy it's like, it's like when girls are like oh my god you're such a nice guy i'm like i'm just ugly if i was handsome i would be doing the same shit everybody fucking else gets away with but i don't being have... a starting quarterback gives you at least three three more a month yeah yeah 100 percent. but if you got the looks like you know like he's got like jimmy g's yeah it just yeah amplifies it. like if you're already like model-esque looking and you can yep. sling rock like crazy I, his good mom's looking gorgeous too. good looking millionaires fucking everybody his mom is very good looking yeah his mom is good looking so is aiden hutchinson's whole family nice nice i love every, me every every sister he's got we gotta get in <laughs> all right boys i'm gonna go eat some pizza hey right, yeah. man it's been a good pick store says hi everybody hi uh, door Y'all have a great rest of your week. That was week three of the picks. We'll try to get Frank back in here. Uh, we'll be on Instagram, uploads to the YouTube page as well. Thanks, guys, for Frank's doing got what the, you do. Frank's got the target on his back now. Yeah, he yeah. does. Fuck yeah. that guy. And I know where he lives. So. Oh, wait, hold on. I got I to gotta show this off. I, I got to show it off every, every, every week. week, man. Every week. Look at this guy right here. Hold on. Let me stop yeah. sharing. Let's, sure, let's yeah. hope these uh, – let's, uh, let's hope your picks get a little better. You won't be holding it for very long. I, I, I made a huge comeback last year. 
came down to one game. I, I ended up getting it on the on the Monday night game. So uh, we'll see we'll see how it works this year. I might have to go deep into my fucking cerebellum and just start pulling these picks. I've been extremely disappointed with my picks. I actually tried to put some thought into them this week. I, and then I, I hear you guys make your mine. picks. I put yeah. some thought into mine the first week, and it just shot me right in the ass. So I'm just I'm slinging from the hip now. I'm doing my best uh, Brett Favre impersonation without stealing money from homeless people. <laughs> yeah, what a fucking crook. What a fucking crook, dude. From all the shit I've read about it, man, I, I, I loved him as a quarterback. But, dude, he's, uh, he's a real piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. For he's sure. he, is, he is the the white fucking OJ Simpson. For sure. <laughs> player after his career ended, he's just a fucking crook. All right, fellas. Well, I'm I'm having trouble closing the program, so hopefully it saves. If not, I'll probably punch myself in the face. Um, so I'm gonna close the program. So see ya. Bye.